Hello and welcome to how to use your inventory. What you want to do first is open up your menu and go to inventory, which is to the left of world map. Once you've opened that up, you'll see that there's five tabs along the top. You have your equipment, your usable items, alchemy and crafting, quest items, and other. We'll start with equipment. In here, you'll find your armor, your weapons, and runes and glyphs that you can add to each. You also have weapon and armor repair kits and your crossbow bolts. You'll notice at the top of the screen that you have a weight counter. Mine at the moment is 130 and that's because I have upgraded saddlebags. You'll want to upgrade your saddlebags whenever you can so that you can carry extra loot. Glyphs and runestones are used to upgrade your weapons and armor. Take note of which have slots in, which appear as small circles next to them. These are where you can add runestones and glyphs. Each one gives you an added effect, plus 3% adrenaline point gain, plus 5% sign intensity, and more. You can check on the left hand side of the screen whether or not this weapon is better than the one you currently have equipped. It will appear as a small red figure. This one, as you can see, is minus 59 damage to what I have currently equipped, but you can also check out the stats by going across to the right and having a look. Many weapons come with extra buffs. This one has extra sign intensity, as well as critical hit damage bonus and a chance to freeze. On the left, you have consumables, which is potions and food. In the middle, you have bombs, which can be crafted in the alchemy tab. And on the right is pockets, which is everything else. Along the bottom, you have trophy, saddle bags, saddle, and horse blinders. Horse blinders will make sure your horse doesn't get scared by enemies as quickly. A saddle will give your horse extra stamina. Saddle bags gives you extra inventory room, and trophies are won by killing certain enemies. Each has a different buff. Weapon and armor repair kits can be used to repair broken armor and weapons. Down the right hand side of your weapon description you'll find three different stats. The first is how much it weighs, the second is how much damage it's taken, and the third is how much you can sell it for. Pay attention to how much damage your weapon's taken, because if it gets below 50% your weapon will be less effective. The same goes for armor. You can equip an item at any time by going into your inventory and selecting it. Some items, such as bombs and potions, require you to decide which slot to equip it in. These can then be selected via the D-pad or the shoulder buttons. The usable items tab includes oils, things to read, potions and food. These can be consumed straight from the inventory menu. The alchemy and crafting menu shows you all the things you've collected that can be used to make potions and bombs. Quest items is where every item is kept that will help you on a quest. Some of these are quests you have yet to find, some of them are quests you've already completed. The other tab is used for items that you can either sell or dismantle to create crafting ingredients. You can check whether an item is worth dismantling or selling by looking at its value in the bottom right hand corner of its description. Generally, master items highlighted in blue can be sold for more but they can also be dismantled into rarer materials. So, what's worth selling? Firstly, any weapons and armour that you're not going to use. Anything that does lower damage than the weapons you currently have equipped or anything with fewer slots probably isn't worth keeping. The same goes for armor. Equip whatever gives you the best protection and sell everything else. Sometimes it's a toss up between whether you want more protection or more buffs. Trophies gained from killing certain monsters can be sold for quite a lot, but often they have useful buffs that you might want instead. It's rarely worth selling your weapon and armor repair kits because you will need these in the field, though do make sure to get your armor and weapons repaired whenever you're at a blacksmith. It's always worth keeping a supply of food on you because they don't really weigh very much and if you run low on potions they can really be helpful in a bind, but I would recommend you sell alcohol. It might heal you slightly, but it also gets you drunk. Most things in the alchemy and crafting tab don't take up that much weight, so it's really not worth selling any of these because you never know when you might need them for a potion. Generally, most people won't buy quest items off you, but even if they will, I wouldn't recommend it. You never know when they might be needed. The other tab is where you can find most things worth selling. However, if you can afford it, try to keep them for crafting components instead. In the top right hand corner are three statistics. The first is how much money you have. The second is how much weight you're carrying, 
and the third is your level with your XP bar on the right. It's always worth checking that you don't have over your weight limit, however the game will tell you when you're overburdened. In the bottom right hand corner you'll find Geralt statistics and you can press RT for a more in-depth look. Your most important statistics here are your vitality, which is your health bar, your DPS, which is your damage per second, your toxicity level, which is how many potions you've taken, and your total playtime, which is, oh my god, two days! Well, that's the basics of your inventory. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to know about The Witcher 3. Bye!